From the Blue Sea of Ibrox to the Blue Sea of the Grove, today we have one of the biggest footballing rivalries in this country outside the English Football League as Hells Owen Town take on Stalbridge in what is known as the number nine derby. Those of you watching today's video who aren't too familiar of the two clubs are probably thinking the number nine derby, that's a bit of a weird name for a football rivalry. It is named after the famous number nine bus that travels from Stalbridge to Hells Owen on a daily basis. So uh, just touch down in Hells Owen. Uh, it's the big day today, derby day. I, I, don't know, I can't tell you how big uh, this game is. Uh, those of you that follow my channel a lot will know I cover a lot of non-league football, a lot of non-league football in the West Midlands. And uh, Hell's Own Town are a club that I have uh, covered a lot in recent years on this channel. Something I always say about Hell's Own that uh, makes them stand out from the rest are the, the fans. Uh, they're really passionate, they follow uh, their team away from home in numbers. And they've always been very welcoming and supportive of my videos. But today, we're going to experience the Grove on its biggest day, the number nine derby. I've never been to a number nine derby, it's a fixture that I've wanted uh, to do for a very long time. But these two sides haven't played each other at the Grove for a very long time either, uh, due to being in different uh, divisions. Obviously, Halezone got promoted from step four last season, and they now play the football in the Southern League Central, meaning this season, the return of the number nine derby. In the ground now, um, it's already very busy in here, about half an hour before kickoff. Um, Stalbridge away fans over there, obviously today's game is segregated, but I tell you, that uh, shed end right next to me, I, I can imagine it will be bouncing today. So I uh, purchased a program, and as you can see, uh, league table here, Hell Zone currently sitting ninth, um, not far away from the playoff spots at the moment, Stalbridge down there in 16th. But as always is the case on Derby Day, anything can happen. So I'm here with Paul, uh, Hell Zone versus yep. Stalbridge today. What's your score prediction? I'm going for 3-1 Yelts. What do you think the atmosphere is going to be like? It's going to be amazing. Like, I went to um, Stalbridge right with the Yelts, um, the videos on my channel and the atmosphere was unbelievable. So I'm here with Nathan, big Hell's Own fan. What's your score prediction for today? I think it's going to be 2-1. It's going to be a hard match. Enjoy the game, mate. And you. Thanks. Have a beer. About 15 to 20 minutes before kickoff, and the ground's already starting to fill up uh, very nicely. The atmosphere's building. Just look at the amount of bodies already in this ground. Leicester 3, Sunderland 0.
uh, one nil to Helzo in uh, Ryan Winter with a goal. Um, can't quite work out what, what happened there from here. But absolute seeds in the shed end. Uh, Ryan Winter with a goal. Uh, he's had a good game so far at the back as well, keeping the Starbridge players out. <laughs> Half time, 1-0 uh, to Hells Owen. What a time to score for the Yelts just before half time. It was a bit of a cagey start to the game, uh, very even. Uh, not much happened really. A lot, a lot of the players uh, in the midfield, both sides sort of like battling hard and uh, cancelling each other out. It was a very uh, intense atmosphere in the ground as well. All, all eyes were on the football. But then you can ask for a better uh, end to that first half. Yelps get a goal right before the half-time whistle and the shed end go absolutely crazy. But Salbridge haven't been bad in that first half. Uh, they've created a lot of chances and it definitely is all still to play for in the second half. Is it like opportunity there for Hells Owen, a uh, good move from the team, unlucky from the number nine, just puts it wide. <laughs> Attendance for today's game, uh, just over 3,100, uh, top quality support from both home and away fans. <laughs> Late on into this second half, um, must be close to the 90th minute and a, a clear penalty for Hells Owen. Gave the referee uh, no other choice.
So full time, a uh, 1-0 to the Yelts, and that was a proper hard-fought victory for Hells Owen today. It wasn't a great game in difficult uh, conditions. It was a very even game as well. Stalbridge will probably feel like they deserve something from the game. They had enough chances, they just showed no conviction in front of goal. But Hells Owen have done the double over Stalbridge this season, and it is fair to say that they own the number nine for now at least. Massive credit to Paul Smith and the players, and I just want to say thank you to Paul Smith as well for helping me get to today's game. Obviously, today's game was an all-ticket event, and me not living particularly close to the Grove, it was going to be difficult for me to get to the Grove and buy a ticket. But Paul very kindly helped me and my dad out and made sure that we could get to today's game. But Paul Smith's Hells Owen sides have produced some fantastic memories and moments on my channel over the years. And today's game was not an exception. Over 3,000 people at today's game for step three of non-league football. It really is remarkable support. And it must be said, the scenes after the goal and at full time were unbelievable. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. We are back tomorrow for West Bromwich Albion vs Aldershot in the FA Cup. Thank you for watching until the end. I'll see you tomorrow. Up the outs.